What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Shonen Showdown. I'm your host, Robinson. To the right of me is Scott. And today, we have a very special debate for you guys. We are going to be jumping right into Asta from Black Clover versus Deku from My Hero Academia. So make sure you guys keep it locked. All right, Scotty. So let's let's just jump right into it. Asta versus Deku. Um, I think we should break this down in two cases. We should have them, you know, in their base forms and then going, you know, full power. Um, so let's start off with their base forms. Who are you taking? I mean, I don't even know about base forms. You, you, there's another breakdown we have to make first. We okay. have to consider whether Asta's anti magic mm -hmm. affects one for all. Right. We have to establish that first. I'm not sure if. If, if, if it does or not, but say for example, this is the worst case scenario, whereas One For All is basically seen as magic and Asta's ma anti-magic can attack One For All on that basis, it's pretty much not a fight. Um, it's pretty much a heavily one-sided fight in that case. Um, Asta's winning, you know, there's no chance. So we realistically, ha we realistically have to look at it as if one for all doesn't count as magic, and we're basically just going off of the force of Asta's attacks and his mobility and other things, but not necessarily the anti-magic aspects. Right. Um, and to that, you say what? If we want to go off of saying that you know the Asta's anti-magic does not negate the effects of the one for all quirk, yep. who do you think is coming out on top? Because. Like I've said in the previous debate, listen, Deku has long range attacks now. He now has that yes, shoot style that he learned from Gran Torino. He can move very, very quickly. He's also very fast. Asta's fast and we know once he gets into that demon form, you know, his his speed is through the roof. But also we have to factor in the one for all speed as well, the shoot style, the long range air shots that Deku now has added to his game. Um, so it, it, it would definitely be a little closer. Um, so who are you gonna take? Well, you, you also have to factor in the, um, that Asta can fly. In his in his um, you know most powerful form. So I'm gonna mm -hmm. go with what you said before. With, you know with the base and the max power, right? So base. So this is talking not black Asta form. This is talking not you know high percentage one for all. This is talking just full cowling cruising mode, right? Right. I'm gonna go. Uh, hmm. <laughs> well, you have to you have to consider the fact that Asta is stronger than Deku in regular form. He is. Because Asta's been doing like 10,000 push-ups and all that, you know, yeah, right. the whole one punch right. man training, <laughs> you know, he's so physically strong that he has a, an aptitude for magic just because he's that strong. He's, right. He doesn't, you know, so you have to factor that into account. But um, he can't fight at long range. He can't fight at long range in base form. He has uh, one sword which he can deflect attacks with. He has uh, a smaller sword. He can do wheel those swords. Yeah. Um, he has an additional sword, so if he loses one of them, he can pull out another one. Um, and then tough. you got Deku, who, you know, in cruising full cowling mode, he's very versatile. He can bounce around the room if it's a close uh, quarter situation, close quarters fight. If it's out in the open... I mean, uh, you gotta say, Deku's a better strategist than Asta. I'm gonna start it off with just Deku's that. Deku's definitely smarter than Asta. I, I'll he, he's way too. better at battle. 100%. I mean, him predicting Muriel's movements, um, you know, him, you know, leading the fight against Stain, all of these things that we were seeing, you know, the Bakugo rescue plan, he was a big, big part of that. So Deku is definitely a better battle strategist than Asta, but is that enough to take him over the hump? Honestly, I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say Asta wins Ooh. a base. I'm saying Asta okay. wins the base. I agree that Deku is smarter. He's a much better strategist. However, you have to factor into the account that he doesn't know what Asta's power is. You know, this is like a different universe fighting a different universe. Okay, so Asta doesn't know the limitations or the restrictions of Asta's power. So he's going to have to find that out on the fly in the fight. Whereas Asta is not that smart at all. So he's not going to be trying to make a strategy based on... The limitations of one for all because he's not going to know them so he's not right. even going to bother right um, i'm going with austin but here's the thing my counter to that would be that asta we're, we're following this case right saying assuming that asta's anti-magic does not work on one for all yep that's asta's main bread and butter that's his main thing is using anti-magic if he's not able to negate one for all 
you're still taking him over deck. I am because in this in this particular instance, Asta's. I mean, Deku's one for all. It doesn't really. It's not like a type of magic where you would need anti magic for. You know what I'm saying? It's not like flame magic. It's not ice magic. It's not poison magic. It's just physically stronger, physical right. strength. You know, so Asta with his already strong physical aptitude, he doesn't necessarily need anti magic to negate that. You know, he pretty much just has to go up against that head to head. You also have to factor into account that Asta has key abilities. So he can sense attacks. Mm -hmm. You know, he can sense things outside of his uh, passive vision. Um, I'm going to go with Asta in base. Yeah, and I'm going to have to say I absolutely agree with you. <laughs> the answer for me is also Asta in base wow. form. Okay. Um, um, clearly, listen, you just mentioned it, and that was the thing I was kind of trying to get you to, is his key power, yes. right? Yes. Him having that power puts him in, uh, you know, another space that Deku can't reach. And I think that if Deku is only in 20% full counting right now, we're just talking base. I don't know if that's enough to take over Asta's, you know, base physical strength. Also his swordsmanship skills um, and his key. That's just a lot to deal with for Deku. Now I will say that since Deku is smarter than Asta in battle and he can fight at long range, it would not be an easy fight. Um, for Asta, you know, I think if Deku, you know, leans closer to long range, you know, air shots, um, Asta would have a tough time. But I still think Asta is just physically stronger. He's physically more durable. I don't know if Deku can uh, withstand as many hits as Asta can from Deku. So I'm going to take Asta in the base form. Now we're going to talk about them in their all out state. So this is now Asta fighting against a word soul demon level, you know, black divider sword coming out full demon mode. Yep. And we're, t we're pinning him against Deku with your favorite phrase, the the airy backpack. So now Deku's yes, at 100%. Yes, He's ready to go. This okay. is full power case now. Now you're talking about one for all that was literally so powerful. It was literally exploding overhaul into bits, right? And a black divider sword that's so powerful, it took down the word soul demon that everyone had to. Lumiere was in the building and needed help. Lich was in the building and needed help. Yami was there. Yuno was there. And Asa had to la uh, land the finishing blow. So with that, who do you think takes that full power? Well, there's a, there's a bunch of considerations. You have to uh, consider the fact that in this black demon mode, Asta can now fly. Yeah. Um, he can use, his sword is like way bigger than it was before. He can deflect many attacks several attacks at one time mm -hmm. um he has increased mobility he has increased physical strength um he has his key pretty much all of his physical abilities are increased to an extent in black eyes to form right um and then you have to take a take a look at deku in 100 percent every backpack mode yeah. he has increased mobility he has highly increased physical strength but that doesn't come with a slowdown Usually that comes with a slowdown sometimes, yeah. but this does not come with a slowdown. No cool. This down. is 100% increased speed boost also. Absolutely. Um, and this also comes with a... Um, I don't know what the limitations of this would be in this particular fight, but it also comes with the minimal rewind ability. So if he does get hit, Eric can rewind it a couple seconds to the point before he got hit. We don't know how reliable that's going to be, mm -hmm. and we know that she can't do it many times because it'll get too crazy and it'll overpower her. And then she might rewind him back before he has one for all. So we it's know a chance you have to take. Yeah, right. We know it can't work like infinite times. It has a set amount of times they can use that effectively in the fight. Um, but with that being said, uh, <laughs> with that being said, <laughs> you know, I'm still going Asta. I'm picking really? Asta. I'm picking Asta. You're taking Asta? I'm picking Asta for this. I have to say you're wrong. I'm taking Deku I'm, I'm at 100%. I'm taking Asta for this. I'm, I'm taking Deku at 100%. Listen, 100% Deku. Yeah. Listen, I don't think Asta oh, yeah. I don't think Asta is smart enough in battle to know that he would have to take out Eri first and deal with that. And even if he was trying to go for Eri, how would we how would he catch Deku in that form because Deku is so fast? and so powerful i mean he was literally punching overhaul out of the sky listen asta was yes. definitely powerful against the word soul demon but let's not forget he has some people helping you know what that's i mean he fact. has that's some people helping deku was just with eri and eri's you know doing the rewind quirk but asta's case lich lumiere you know mm -hmm. yami i mean everybody was helping so well, hold, on, hold on hold on hold on it was on, a collective hold, effort hold on okay let's slow down <laughs> for a second it was okay? a collective let's effort. all just take a deep breath okay we're going up against black devil asta 
versus a two for one deal. Okay, so let's not talk about help. Okay, <laughs> the only reason this is even a case, the only reason you have an argument is because he has help, yeah. which is the Eric backpack. Okay, hey. now if we want to take that and not even consider that as a con, okay, I still think Asta will win for several reasons. One, in the latest episode, if you're all caught up, Asta can now access Man's own abilities. We've is, seen him be able to do that now. Is it is it is two, it mastered? Is it two, to a point? Where I don't think Asta's gonna be able to go after Eric in the first place. I don't think he's even gonna try. I think he's gonna try to hit um, Deku himself several times to try to overpower Eric's rewind ability to the point where they have difficulties with that. I think that Asta uh, that Deku will pretty much be in, in, um, impenetrable. So he's gonna get hit, and then he's gonna get healed by Eric. At least three or like five times. And I think you. Asta's still going to have enough juice in the tank with his Black Demon mode and with his Black Divider sword to keep fighting after Deku reaches that point. You're crazy. I think so. You're absolutely crazy. Listen, this is a power. This is Deku at 100% one for all. Literally unstoppable. You got to remember, Overhaul has the ability to kind of regenerate and he didn't even have enough time to heal and regenerate and, and, and get back to his you know base state because Deku was blowing him to bits. This is what he would do yes. to Asa in that form just because you're bringing up Mana Zone. Yes. Asa has not really tapped into I'm talking about 100% Deku. We're mm -hmm. you're ta you're mentioning an Asa that is trying to figure out. He just learned Mana Zone. He doesn't really have it mastered down yet. Deku is at 100% Asa has the fight potential of a Broly, okay? He he in his a fight Broly. in his fights <laughs> his potential increases exponentially in his fights. <laughs> He'll get into a fight at one power level and the fight 10 power levels high, okay? I'm factoring that into the equation. Bully would watch Asta, okay? I'm just talking about I, in terms of I, I, increasing fight I, potential over time. I know okay? what you're trying to you say, but... You also have but, to take into account that when Asta fights, uh -huh. right? He, he's fighting against a demon. He's fighting against a being from a whole nother dimensional plane of existence in his universe, okay? He's not fighting a villain. He's not fighting a guy robbing a bank. Okay, he's fighting a completely different being in another reality within his anime universe. Okay, take a look at the prior fights. Take a look at the resume. Okay, we mm -hmm. have Deku fighting Overhaul, mm -hmm. which is the toughest fight he's had yet, and that was impressive with yeah. the Eric backpack. But think about it Asa's been in more life or death fights than Deku has. The majority of Deku's fights have been people either just trying to knock him out or just people trying to stop him. It haven't really been Stain? life or St death. Stain wasn't life or death? Stain respected uh, Deku. He, he respected he, Deku. He did. But he he I, that, acknowledged that, all three of them. He was trying to kill Ida because he was on some other, you know. <laughs> but Deku, he wasn't really trying I, to kill him. He was just trying to knock him out so he could kill those other two <laughs> that was cowering in the corner for the first, you know, five minutes. <laughs> if you think about it, who was, um, in terms of current, current shows, who was... Deku's, uh, who was Asa's last fight against? Right, the Word Soul Demon. The Word Soul Demon, and then even after that, I'm, I'm, I'm including non-boss fights. So we're talking about a stage one, stage zero mage. Oh, you're counting mage uh, oh, yeah. from the Heart Kingdom. Oh, you're, you're going there. Okay. Arguably one of the right. best bodyguards for the queen of a whole nother kingdom, right? Yeah, he's, he's that's a That's Asa's last fight. What was Deku's last fight? I mean... He was fighting the TikTok villain, people. That is who he was fighting, okay? Let's consider that and weigh that into this fight. I don't think... I don't. I think that's going to factor heavily. Every time Asta fights, he's pretty much putting his life on the line. Pretty much acknowledging, okay, I probably won't make it out of this, but let's fight. Deku's not in the same position. Listen, if I'm taking Deku at 100% one for all, and we're adding in the fact that he now has long-range abilities... I'm giving that to Deku. I don't know if Asta is on that level yet. We, he has faced tougher opponents, but the tougher opponents that he has faced, he's also had more and more help. So we have to factor that in as well. Um, I think Deku at 100% is, you know, super, super destructive. There's not a lot of me a lot of people that can really take him down. Um, but you guys definitely let us know. Let us know. I mean, well, think about it this, and I'll, I'll end it with this. Think about Go it ahead. this way. If... Deku did not have the airy backpack. Could he stand up against Black Divider Asta? No. All right. Absolutely not. 
<laughs> he couldn't. So he needs help. Right? He, he <laughs> so for this case to even be considered, he needs help. He right, he, he, he does need help. He does need help. Come but on. but Asa definitely needed help too against Wurzel Demon. But you guys let us know down in the comment section below. Asta and Deku. And we want both states. So we want their base state. And we also want them full power. Who would win? And with that, we'll see you next time. Peace. Game!